160 volt series motor runs at 500 rpm taking current of 40 amperes or calculate the speed if load is reduced so that motor taking 30 amperes the total resistance of armature field circuit is 0.8 ohms okay i can write back induce back emf eb1 is equal to 460 minus at first it is taking 40 amperes of current so 40 into total resistance is 0.8 so this is 428 volts so eb2 is equal to similarly 460 minus now it is taking 30 amperes so 30 into total resistance of armature field circuit is 0.8 so this is 436 volts okay eb is directly proportional to speed by current ia okay since flux is directly proportional to ia i will write back emf is directly proportional to speed by ia in dc series motor if it is shunt motor directly proportional to n okay so i can write from this n2 by n1 is equal to eb2 by eb1 into ia1 by ia2 okay we will get around 679 rpm approximately so option a is the correct answer then 2500 by 500 volts 50 hertz single phase two winding transformer having voltage regulation of 5% if an auto transformer is made by this two winding transformer with voltage ratio of 2500 by 3000 then voltage regulation is okay now what is the transformation ratio of this auto transformer 2500 by 3000 this is 0.833 now percentage regulation is equal to regulation of two winding transformer into 1 minus k okay this is percentage regulation of auto transformer okay he has given percentage regulation as 5% for two winding transformer this is 1 minus 0.833 you will get it as 0.833 percent is the answer. Okay, so option B is the right answer. The value of torque play is equal to infinite in the following case. Torque play is infinite means if this combination is not going to exist, simply it is an inverting amplifier. That means gain is minus one. Okay, if the output is one hundred degrees, this is the control plane, and the gain is absolute. Must be connected in this way, but it doesn't affect the answer at all because torque play is infinite. That means the circuit, the diode circuit, is not going to behave. But comes to whenever R two is equal to zero, it is going to have a pressure zero plus zero is equal to zero. Here also, whenever R three is equal to zero. V I is greater than zero means if V I is positive, V naught is negative. V naught is negative, one of the diodes surely they are going to combine. So the voltage in the feedback means the first diode is nothing but output voltage. So it is flip flops to point zero V I. If you multiply with the gain, it will arrive in the point zero. And if V I is less than zero, V naught is going to be positive. Still, one of the both diodes are going to combine. So it will flip up to point seven volts again. So hence option A is correct. We have completed the following four: eight one, eight two, eight three. Mentioned in the final question and four two, there is a ten transistors. Here in the uh, digital diode circuit is shown below. For the gate one transistor, the example is being shown below. Gate two. Similarly, for not only the same diode, 
Which is option A is correct. 